morning, Stephen. How are you doing? Today, we are going to learn EVS. Chapter 13, Animal Kingdom. Chapter 13, Animal Kingdom. Animals of the world. Animals can be found in different parts of the world. Animals can be found in different parts of the world. Animals can be found in different parts of the world. Sea animals. Can you name some sea animals? Starfish. Starfish. Seal. Dolphin. Jellyfish. And some animals, you find them on the mountain. See? Some animals, you find them on the mountain. These are sea animals. Starfish, seal, dolphin and jellyfish. All these are sea animals, okay? Some animals are found on the mountain. Mountain animals, you look at them. Then animals can be found under sea and oceans and high up in the mountains. You see? Animals can be found under sea and oceans and high up in the high up in the mountain. Okay, children? Now we will see desert animals. Animals live in the desert. See? Desert animals, especially camel. All these are desert animals. And they are very, very dangerous. This is very dangerous if you bite. It's severe pain. See? I see cold animals. I see cold animals. It's very, very, very cold. And these animals can live there. And these animals can live there. See? All these polar bears. See? All these penguins and all these bears. Uh, they live in icy cold. Very, very cold. They have no problem. Animals are found in hot deserts as well as icy cold regions. In the desert also they live. Some of them live. And some of them live in icy, cold region. Now you see. Types of animals. Types of animals. You see, different types of animals you can see. Different types of animals you see. Different types of animals. Now, we keep animals like cats and dogs at home. Who is kept at home? Cat and dog. These animals are called pet animals. Cat and dog, cats and dogs are pet animals because we keep them as pet at home. We keep them because they do useful jobs for us. Cats, cat, mice, mice, any rats, and dogs guard the house, take care of the house. See, like a watchman, he's sitting outside. We also keep them as pets because 
we like them some people also keep fish turtles and parrots as pets you see pet animals cat rabbit cow ox chick duckling duck and duckling goat and dog all these are pet animals farm animals some people have a lot of land so they they have a farm at home they have many people have farms okay so on the farm they have cow chicken duck goat horse donkey pig cat dog rabbit sheep we sometimes keep and take care of animals near our homes because they give us many useful things these animals are called farm animals or domestic animals farm animals another word for farm animals any domestic domestic animals any we keep at home farm animals or domestic animals and they get give us many useful things now milk animals milk animals yani animal give give milk cow goat buffalo and camel see cow goat buffalo and camel animals like cow goat and buffaloes give us milk they are called milk animals animals which give us milk are called milk animals milk they give us milk so that's why they are called milk animals example cow buffalo and goat we get eggs from hens and wool from sheep from where do we get eggs from the hen you see the hen is laying eggs the hen has laid eggs uh, all these animals are called farm animals see hen cow goat all these are farm animals see after laying eggs it's working off now you see sheep give us wool see from the sheep they are removing wool this wool we get from the sheep we say uh, sheep rearing we say from the wool we get sheep see this is the sheep they are removing the wool from the skin of the sheep do you see they will make woolen clothes with that how woolen becomes clothes how wool becomes clothes this wool is converted to or change into clothes you see like jackets warm jackets woolen jacket is expensive because it is uh, it is taken from the skin of animals and gives us egg sheep wool sheep rearing this is called sheep rearing taking the wool from the sheep woolen clothes donkeys elephants ca camels and horses carry loads for us they are called work animals you put them on their back they carry load for us they carry load for us elephant donkey and horse they carry all the things so they are called work animals these animal these animals work for us elephants donkeys and horses they work for us even camel you see 
they work for us. So they are called work animals. Now listen children, we are going to read the lesson number, we are going to read lesson number 13. Okay? Animals Kingdom. We are going to learn, we are going to read lesson number 13, Animal Kingdom. Okay? Those of you who have the reader, open to page number 54. Animals can be found in different parts of the world. They can be found under seas and oceans and high up in the mountains. They are found in hot deserts as well as icy cold regions. They depend on plants and other animals for their food. Animals depend on plants for their food. It means they eat a lot of plants. See? And there are animals there. Then on the next page, page number 55, lions, what sound they make? Lions roar. We speak like that. Lions roar, elephants trumpet, horses neigh, pigs grunt, sheep bleat, dogs bark, cats meow, crows caw, birds chirp, monkeys chatter. We keep animals like cats and dogs at home. These animals are called pet animals. We keep them because they do useful job for us. Cats catch mice and dogs guard the house. We also keep them as pets because we like them. Some people also keep fish, turtles and parrots as pets. Cat, dog and parrot. We sometimes keep and take care of animals near our homes because they give us many useful things. These animals are called farm animals or domestic animals. Animals like cows, goats and buffaloes give us milk. They are called milk animals. Who give us milk? Cow, buffalo and goat. We get eggs from hens and wool from sheep. All these animals are called farm animals. Sheep give us wool, sheep rearing, and the hen gives us eggs. From the sheep we get wool and we make wool and clothes. Donkeys, elephants, camels, and horses carry loads for us. They are called work animal. Animals work for us. Animals which work for us are donkey, donkeys, elephants, camels and horses. Now, we have finished page number 54, 55 and 56. Okay children, did you understand? You read the lesson, you will understand. Okay?